NMPC Limited reportedly terminates appointment of 500 staff, give conditions that lie for them to leave. 500 staff of the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited, NNPC, are said to have received email terminating the appointment this is coming days after the NNPC Limited was, was officially unveiled by President Buhari. The staff have been given a condition also to accept the content of the letter and get rewarded. Tension is said to have gripped staff of the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited after 500 were reportedly sacked. According to Business Day Standard, those affected have already received a letter terminating the appointment. The affected staffs are mostly ones to set to retire in 2022, 2023, and 2024. In a letter which was sent by an email contained a mouth watering pay package, which also includes an offer to write off loan any of the affected staff is paying. A, aside from the juicy package for those affected, they will also be entitled to 50% of their salaries until the time they are naturally expected to serve out their tenure in the company. However, some of the management members of the NMPC Limited affected have kicked against it, especially some of the general managers and group general managers. The group managing director and chief executive of the NMPC Limited, Mele Kiari, has said at a time meeting with the staff recently that the affected officials have up to the first week of August to decide, otherwise the company may take actions deemed necessary to relieve them of their jobs and the severance package may elude those that refuse to go. Why are they refusing to go? Why don't they want to leave? If today we are looking at the performance in NMBC, they are below 50%. There is no production. They are, not, they are sending crew all out to be refined and brought back to the country. It's like people are just working and they are, not, they, are, they are going to work, but they are not doing anything and they are getting paid. The country is not a, uh, a public uh, limited uh, company, and so definitely they will not be able to run the business as usual. Things must change. And so for me, if they want the improvement, the number of workers force have to be reduced, and those that will do the needful, that will be performing, are the people that will need want to bring in. So they should forget the era of civil service that people will just be employed without doing anything and they will get paid. This is an era where they must be productive, they must give accountability, the shareholders will want to get their prof I mean their inter I mean their dividend at the end of the day. And so people should not there's even it's even a package, severe package that is juicy. A lot of things will be in that package, they should accept it. Is it because because people are used to free things, they may not want to accept it, and that's why they are grumbling. Those general managers and group general managers said to be agitating and alleged to be saying that they want to complete the official tenure. Which official tenure? That is, they want to retire when they are 60 years of age. Must they be 60 before they retire? People can tell them they don't have something they want to do on their own. At 60 is when they want to go and start something on their own, or at 60 they resist, see them at home be doing nothing. A portal is said to have been open online with points to click, one for the acceptance of the severance exercise, and the other for the rejection of the letter. Whichever way any of the affected officials choose, by the first week of August, the portal will be closed. NMPC had earlier reported Mr. Bapagira set a new target for the new NMPCs. The president also listed that the do's and do's as he ushered in a new phase for the 44 years old company. Imagine a 44 year old company still crawling. They don't know now that they have taken a new lease, a new step. Believe this one will take them further. It's the biggest oil exploration company in this country, and they are not producing the refineries, are they are not working, and people are still collecting salary. Another way of employing only a section of the country. Exactly. Take it as you wish. Only you will see everything only in the ethnic lands, whereas you people destroy our local economy. Importing everything of the toothpick, time will come, all imports will be stopped, and everybody will be asked to produce locally. 
the lopsided administration of the this government is also acting contrary to the constitution of the country. They will send people away, increase salary, bring in their children, and close shop. Why sack them now? Even the sacker and the one they say is the head are all quacks. All should be sacked. After all, some are looking for the only result they claim to have, SSCE. A smile like you are not retiring too. I know. I saw it coming with this privatization. So NMPCC senior staff without backup from presidency will collect voto voto. Is it compulsory or voluntary? Companies allow members of staff to choose for themselves. Good, good, good gesture. But why the adjective sack? Where retirement is that close? However, the Mount Water Pipe Act could cover for that. Do they really deserve that and some severe package for doing nothing? Very good question. Which sack? People stop using the word you journalist. You can report that the appointments were terminated with due to severe package. As you must hear this, what will ask you here? They that will terminate them and replace them with. Please let them also consider with the casual worker. Putting on our base with the company, our take home is very poor considering the cost of living now. Start thinking of backup plan. Get the skill. Nobody can sack you from your skill. Sack them. They are just wasting Nigerian money in the name of who I'm working and they don't know nothing. How can we have three refineries in this country without anyone working? Sack them now. They have been doing nothing. They intentionally left it not working because they know what they are doing. While they so much acclaim sadness, watches as things are destroyed by those they shamelessly call illiterates, while they so much acclaim educated southerners, shameful and sad, what exactly are the illiterates here? All their campaign against is all they are implementing. The sacking of the workers in NMP is a strategy to get the result of the hidden agenda of this administration, to put their own brothers and sisters in no strategic position and take full control of the company, just like they are doing in Nigerian ministries. All the indigenous Nigerian does is complain with no words of question. Same thing everywhere. This is a premeditated exercise to weed out southerners and people from middle bed in favor of a section of this country, Fulani and some Mus Aousa. I bet you that just like those retired in 2015 from the armed forces, 95 of them of those being asked to go as southerners and northern Christians in this devilish exercise. That is urged by Buhari and Melekiari. Soon, Tinubu will take over power and reverse all this nonsense. Nobody should vote at Tiku because he will continue the agenda. Well, that is the reaction that some NMPC staff have been asked to go with a good package. Do you support this or it is very unnecessary? Kindly make your opinion known as you subscribe to my Patreon. Good day and God bless.